just tell me that daylight saving. Losing that hour of sleep. Yeah, it makes up for it. But here's the thing. As you're going to bed tonight, you will be seeing a couple of these snowflakes coming down. I'm going to give you a bit of a snowfall map in just a few seconds, but I do want to really time out where we're expecting. It could start as a little bit of a mix instead of just pure snow. It's temperatures above that freezing marker, 35, 36 degrees. Could be a little bit of snow and rain mixed in there, but as temperatures tumble into our overnight, more than likely it's going to be coming down. It's just a couple flurries now. This will continue into tomorrow morning, so it's something we can expect, and those chances will probably at their best just after that sunset and into your overnight, probably just around eight, uh, the midnight hour continuing to dwindle as we head into our overnight as that moisture slowly is wicked away out of Michiana. And as we head into tomorrow, well, it's going to be a different day for sure. That day planner is looking to be actually not too bad for the second half of our day. It's just the temperatures. They don't really want to go up as the day progresses. We'll see more and more sun as the day continues. Look at that. Highs only get into the upper 30s. That's what Northwest winds will do for you. They'll stick around for that Monday. And with that, of course, it could get pretty gusty as well. This is your uh, Sunday morning. Already seeing wind gusts up to 25 miles an hour, continuing to intensify by that early afternoon. Wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour does look possible, so it's going to be both cold and windy. And you know what that means? The wind chill. And the wind chills are going to be staying very low the entire day, starting off in the low 20s as you're waking up, only getting into the upper 20s by the afternoon time, so it's going to be staying pretty chilly all day long. That coat will definitely need to be used for sure. So as you look at the upper level pattern, we are looking at again staying in this area of low pressure right here. Now this will continue to move on out of our area, going to replace it with a nice high pressure ridge into our Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. It'll bring us the southwest winds and will bring us in much warmer air. Although nothing great lasts forever, we are watching for another low pressure system. This one's a little bit more intense. This is going to be on our next Friday, so this is a, starting to get a little further away on your forecast. This will bring in that low pressure, cool us down into our, the end of our next week and into our next work week. And then another shot of cold air continues to bring its way in. So our extended forecast is looking kind of chilly to the point to where it almost could be below average. So as we get into that extended forecast, seeing a lot of those conditions getting very cold. Highs only in the upper 30s today, but bouncing back very quickly into your Monday and Tuesday with temperatures in the 50s and 60s, feeling pretty on the warm side as we get into that first part of our work. We continue to warm up on your Wednesday and Thursday. Rain chances, though, they do start popping in. The next best chance for rain going to be on that Thursday specifically. Going into your Friday and Saturday, rain chances start going away, but so do the temperatures. And as you look at the extended forecast, last three days of your 10 day forecast, temperatures beginning to go below the normal. Could see low 40s by our next, next Monday and Tuesday. Jackson's got all things sports coming up in a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. 16 News Now, 6 continues.